So welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. And wanted to talk a little bit about how do you think the uh, Facebook controversy is working out? Well, I am thrilled with Facebook. I am so relieved that we took our issues public and it got their attention and they reached out to us and they hear us. And there, you know, it was never Facebook's intention to discriminate against the LGBT community. They don't hate drag queens. They're really our huge allies. And they just want people to be able to interact authentically the way that they identify in their everyday lives. So they have a lot of creepy people they have to weed out on Facebook. There's a lot of people who do some really awful things on Facebook. So they're trying to keep the community safe for everybody. And we want the same thing. And they realize that Sister Roma is my true identity. They realize that we, there are a lot of people who have identities that are true and authentic that don't represent the, that on their legal ID. So they're going to put some changes in motion. They're working on some back-end technology to make it easier for people to be their authentic selves without having ID, ID to prove it. Why is Facebook so important, do you think, or to you and to other drag queens and entertainers? Facebook has got 1.3 billion users. I mean, it's, it's bigger than most countries, right? It's, it's become such a part of our lives and it's such an important way that we keep in touch with people. It's every, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? Check Facebook. We meet somebody. Are you on Facebook? I mean, it's just such an important part of our lives. It's crazy. So it was really important to me when I found out how many people could be damaged by this policy to fight for it. And um, when you were fighting for it, what were people telling you and how were they reacting? I mean, I mean, I know, but how, how, how are you feeling about the reactions you were getting? Uh, the support and the reactions from people has been overwhelmingly positive and, I mean, the reason that it, it's, it's only been a little over two weeks since the whole thing started and we've already are making giant steps towards fixing it, so that just proves what a global issue it is for many, many people. So I would say that the reaction has been pretty good. Yeah. Of course there are some people who are like, well, it's the rule, but if you don't like it, you can just get off Facebook. And I'm like, you know what? I get it. I mean, I guess if that's their terms of service, Facebook owns their own website. They own the technology, the software, but they don't own us. They don't own me. They don't own my identity. So what have you been doing in Atlanta? I have been enjoying Atlanta. Atlanta's pretty. It's very green. And I have been driving around <laughs> in drag, going to um, dinner with my sisters from Atlanta. And then I came here to this fabulous film festival I had never seen Forever Folsom before. It was more than I expected. It's really an interesting movie. It's in depth about the whole history of Folsom and South Market. You had never seen it before. I had. This is the first time. Oh wow! So, but, so yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And I, you know, Dimitri is a friend of mine. Most of the people interviewed people that I know or I consider friends, and I think Dimitri owned that documentary. Dimitri is, has been such a passionate and hard worker for the community through Wilson events and it really came through with, you know, when he talks in that movie, it's clear that he knows exactly what he's doing and he knows what he's doing is right for the best, better of the community and I love seeing that. Anyone you want to say hi to? Um, I'll say hi to Mr. Pam who we also saw Pam's movie and Pam is filming right now probably waiting on hard-ons in Fort Lauderdale as we speak. And I love the way that the crowd loved Pam's movies. There was a lot of laughter around Pam. Pam's such a great person and that comes through in her documentary. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good time in Atlanta. And you're also here for a fundraiser. Well, here's the big thing. Now, on Tuesday, Mama Bear Charities presents Out Loud and Proud. It's a fundraiser for the Lost and Found Youth uh, organization, which was started by the sisters, actually. And it's also a benefit for Mr. And for the Atlanta sisters, one of my sisters, novice sisters, is right over here, Sister Ida Mae. And uh, she's my host for this trip. So we're going to put on a fantastic show on Tuesday at Lips. All right.